No one has ever looked at the history of rock and roll through a lens of science and technology. Rock and roll could not exist in any form as we know it without electricity, without mechanical engineering, without computer engineering. Rock and roll, it coincided with the beginning of a new electronics movement, a new, new understanding of communication devices and recording devices. In very few places in a science center anywhere can you get right into it. This one's immersive. You get to play the guitar, you get to play the drums, you get to play with these tabletop activities where you can filter music and actually create a musical piece. What is the science of rock and roll? What does that mean? And it's kind of hard to explain. Once they get in here, they realize that I get it and they gravitate to the hands-on stuff like the ability to remix a David Bowie song. As a musician, it's interesting because it's some, in, a, in a way, it legitimizes what we do. This actually offers up a way for us to have that demonstrated to the, to the masses, in a way. Ladies and gentlemen, Markel! Knowing how it all comes together, like how music gets recorded and, and how your instrument works, it's, it's important to know just to, to be good at it. First, I thought music was just made with instruments, but now I know science is behind music. And it's just fascinating to see how science and music comes together. And like, it definitely gives you a new perspective on music that's something that's so integral to all of our lives. The entire like, atmosphere, like, it makes you feel as if you're in a concert. You really want to have the next generation to continue to be interested in what makes the science of rock and roll tick. Rock and roll, science, nerddom, all together, I'm in.